Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. Do you think our country should be run by younger people? Uh, yes. And it won't happen though. It won't happen. It should be run by younger people because their future. It is their, ultimately is their future. People like me should be our authors, writers. All I want to do is keep writing, talking. I have no uh, ambition or potential for getting any position, appointment. I don't want to be in politics. I hate all that. I just want to express my views, which I have a right to do. But I think the people who are stakeholders, who are, whose lives are at stake to, in, in terms of the policies and direction are young people. And there should be more young people. Okay. Who's going to be the next PM? After Modi? I hope it's none of the people on the scene right now. People keep saying it should be Amit Shah, it should be Yogi, it should be this, that. I, I mean, I would like to have seen totally new people. Fresh faces. Fresh faces. Certainly, I would want them to be more AI educated, technology educated, because we're in the verge of a fourth industrial revolution. They call it that. And this will decide the future. And these people have to be not just uh, indirectly informed based on what somebody, some advisor is saying, some bureaucrat is saying. They must have knowledge of this technology themselves. Like an engineer themselves or an, a scientist themselves. And I will tell you, the Ch Communist Party of China, CCP, Chinese Communist Party, which has 90 million members, lot of technocrats in it, lot of highly educated people, people who are scientists, people who are PhDs, people who are researchers, uh, you know, very well-informed subject matter experts in all sorts of areas. It's not the typical gunda type, of, uh, you know, you think a communist log as you but they are well-educated people in, in the Chinese Communist Party and they are the brains, they are the running the country, they're electing the government and all that stuff. So I, there's no reason why we couldn't have a brain trust, a, a sort of a very high quality educated youth uh, in some kind of a structure, which then run, has a lot of influence yeah. in the country. I have some young friends of mine who are only as old as 35 who've actually tried getting into politics, put their feet in that pool a little bit and then just got out saying, I can't deal with this dark, corrupt world of politics. That's the truth about Indian politics. And that's why people don't take it on as a career until they're extremely powerful. Like the one guy who I've met through the show who I feel will actually get into Indian politics and maybe do something is Ashneer Grover. Do you know who he is? No. She's one of the Shark Tank judges. He's a rage on the Indian internet and his next steps in his career are political. He's also an engineer from IIT. I actually have hope from him. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen in the next generation of politics. So do you think that democracy makes it a dirty game and discourages good leaders? It could be. All in all, yes. In saying that, that's a very controversial statement from my side. I can get into trouble. If this statement is taken in isolation out of this entire podcast, I say that even after experiencing this entire podcast and all these geopolitical podcasts, and more importantly, most importantly, the podcast with the military leaders that I've had. I feel they have a huge say in how the country should be run because their lives are literally on the line. And so, I think India needs Kshatriyata. India needs leadership, strength, and the military people are trained to do that. Uh, and I, 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 yes, I, I certainly agree that the military, scientific people, you know, people with certain uh, topical, certain subject matter expertise should not be sort of the local uh, fellow who can rabble rouse and he can get votes and do gherao here and whatnot. And he becomes, he gets a ticket because he can uh, arouse votes and all. I think that kind of a uh, election-based leadership is not good for the country. You don't yeah. get the best leaders that way. So if you enjoy this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.